Hey guys, today I'm filming my beginner's guide to highlighter video. I will have my playlist linked up here in all the videos individually down below. So first I want to put the disclaimer that I am not a certified makeup artist. Everything I know is from YouTube. I am combining my personal experience with the opinions of others that I've trust and a lot of research to bring you guys the most information. I'm going to have a blog post linked down below with pictures of all these products, the names of them, how much they cost, where you can buy them and if there are any multiple shades so check that blog post to see even more information and let's just get into the video so I have already talked about contouring and contouring and highlighting really do go hand in hand if you want to get the best effect on your face so I will briefly go for contouring but I will link my bronzing and contouring video up here if you want more in depth and if you want some product recommendations so contouring is basically the areas of your face that you want to recede and you want to create some dimension so that is going to be the hairline Line, temples, cheekbones, jawline, and the sides of the nose. So areas that you're going to highlight, you want to stand out, which will be the high points of your face, generally the center of your face. So that would be the center of your forehead, down the bridge of your nose, cupid's bow, center of chin, under the eyes, and along the cheekbones. Some people also like to highlight underneath of where they contour to make it stand out even more. You definitely do not have to contour and highlight in all of these places on an everyday basis. If you did all that, it's more of like a glam look, but it really depends on what you prefer. I do either one depending on my mood that day or the kind of look that I'm going for. So first I want to talk about highlighting with concealers. I talked more in depth and gave more recommendations in my concealer video, which I'll link up here. So highlighting with concealers is great for all skin types, but it is especially great for people with oily skin, with a lot of acne, and with older skin. Because an overly shimmery product does not look amazing on those skin types. So if you have a lot of acne on your cheeks, if you put a shimmer highlight on your cheeks, it's really going to draw attention to that. The same if you have older skin, it will draw attention to your lines and your wrinkles. And if you have oily skin, if you apply shimmer highlight to the center of your forehead, it's going to make you look even more greasy. So um, that is why I highlight with concealer on an everyday basis. Um, that's just something that I like to do. Again, you don't have to. And also highlighting with concealer, depending on how light your concealer is, can be a very natural look. And it, it is also good for dry skin because applying a lot of powders on a dry skin person will appear heavy. So highlighting with concealer is great for all skin types. But if you are someone with oily skin, older skin or acne skin um, and you've been uh, thinking that you can't highlight, you definitely can't and I want to recommend especially highlighting with concealers. So you can highlight with a brightening shade or a concealer that is lighter than your skin tone. So right here I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is the brightener shade which has a pink undertone. This also comes in a neutralizer shade which has a yellow undertone. Pink undertone will be flattering on fair skin, and the yellow undertone will be flattering on medium tan skin. So I wanted to recommend that. That's what I'm using today. And you can also just take your regular under eye concealer. This is the MAC Pro Longwear, and this is in the shade NC15, which is actually only one one shade lighter than my skin tone, but generally if you want a nice highlight, you want to go with a concealer two to three shades lighter than your skin tone to really help highlight your face. And it will also give good coverage. You don't want to go too, too light because then it will be really obvious. So if you want something more natural, picking a concealer two to three shades lighter than your skin tone is the way to go. So either one of these types of things for highlighting is great. And also I set each of these products with a more highlighting powder. So if I am going to use this pink tone concealer, I like to set it with a pink tone powder. So if you highlight with a yellow concealer, you want to set it with a yellow tone powder. So to go with this pink tone instant age one concealer, I set it with my Ben Nye cameo powder. This is a fair powder with pink undertones. If you are using the neutralizer shade, which is yellow, I would recommend getting the Ben Nye powder in banana, which is a yellow powder. So that will just set that brightening shade and it will make it a little bit more intense. So again, I'm wearing both of these products today to highlight the center of my face and I think it looks pretty natural, but it gives a nice subtle effect and it's just a more airbrushed look. So I really, really like this. And again, sometimes I will just 
just use my regular under eye concealer that is a few shades lighter than my skin tone and I will set it with a powder that is a few shades lighter than my skin tone. So like I mentioned, I have the MAC Pro Longwear and I will sometimes set it with the MAC Pro Shaping Powder and emphasize this is a almost white powder. So the MAC Shaping Powders come in five different shades. So um, I will have all those listed down below. So there will be a shade for every skin tone, but this is a combination that I think works really well for me. So whether you want to go with a specific um, pink or yellow undertone, you definitely can, or you can just choose, like I said, a color that is two to three shades lighter than your skin tone. And no matter what skin type you are, you really do need to set your brightener, especially if it's under your eyes, to make sure that it won't crease. And if you are more dry skin, you just want to use a lighter amount of powder. So the rest of this video is going to be about highlighting with shimmer products. I am oily skin and I still like to highlight with shimmer. I do not take it down the center of my face, but I do apply it to my cheekbones. I'm wearing a highlighter today. I'm not sure if you can see it, but... Um, if you do have dry skin or even if you do have oily skin and you still like to be glowy you can definitely highlight the center of your face with a shimmer highlighter this is all based on you and i'm going to show you some powders that are more of a natural glowy shimmer and some that are more of a metallic shimmer so it really depends on your preference and the um, intensity of the shimmer that you choose so there are three types of shimmering highlighters. There are cream, liquid, and powder. I'm gonna give you examples of each. The one that I have found the least options for would be a cream highlighter. So the first cream highlighter I want to recommend would be the MAC Cream Color Bases. They come in a round pot and they have a ton of shades to choose from. I've heard a lot about the colors Pearl, which is a nice white, a champagne white pearly shade then they also have shell which is more of a pink tone and they have a lot of other colors too that would work well for deeper skin tones I will mention all of the colors of the cream color bases in that blog post so make sure to check that out if you're interested in more of the shades so the cream highlighter that I own is Benefit Watts Up. This is a champagne cream highlighter. This is a sample size. It is much larger than this. And this is just really easy to just draw on your cheekbones and then tap it in with your finger. Um, if you do decide to take this down the center of your face, wherever you apply this, um, if you do draw it on, I definitely would recommend just patting it out to make sure that it's not too intense. But this is a really nice, smooth product. It is a cream, but it's not super wet, so it will last well on oil skin as well as dry and I think it's a really pretty color so this is a really really great option I think it's like an amazing formula and this is the only shade it comes in this champagne -y shade but I think it would work really well for fair medium skin I think deep skin could wear it too but it would be just really dramatic so this one might be better for um, fair to medium skin tones and the last cream highlighter I have to recommend would be the NARS Multiples. The NARS Multiples come in a ton of shades, some that are good for blush and contouring, but they do have some that are great for highlighting. I know there's a shade called Copacabana, which is a light pearly shade that a lot of people love, but they do have a great variety that would work for a lot of skin tones. So now moving on to the liquid highlighter. Some people also like to mix liquid illuminators in with their foundation to give them a nice glow to their skin. And that is something that would be especially beautiful on dry skin girls. There are more of these out on the market and there is one from the drugstore. The NYX Born to Glow Illuminators, they come in two shades. One is Sunbeam, which is a light pinky tone. And one is called Gleam, which is a more of a peachy tone. So the Sunbeam would look great on fair or light skin and the gleam will look great on deep skin and they come in a squeeze tube and again you just want to just like really dab it onto your skin and it will be very natural and beautiful looking so Mac also sells luster drops which come in a a small bottle that you just like squeeze out loud they come in a couple different shades and I've heard really good things about those so the next one I have is Benefit High Beam. Benefit also has a shade called Sunbeam, which is a bit more goldy, which would be really, really beautiful on tan or deep skin. And High Beam is a pink tone shade that would be really pretty for fair to medium skin. And this is in like a nail polish bottle. 
and it has a little brush applicator. So again, you would just brush it on and then make sure to blend it out. But these liquids will stay on your skin all day and they will last you forever. You only need a little amount. Josie Marin also has an Argan Illuminator, which is a really pretty like beigey champagne color that would be beautiful for fair to medium tan skin. And it um, is a really, really big bottle and it has a pump on it. Becca also sells a shimmering skin perfecter. It comes in quite a few shades, so there will be some for every skin tone. And NARS also sells an illuminator, which is their liquid highlighter. I do believe that most of the shades are the same as in the cream multiple. So now lastly onto powder highlighters, which are definitely my favorite. I just prefer powder products because I'm an oily skin person and they are easier to use in my opinion. And there are also way more out there and especially more in the drugstore. So the first one I have to show you is the Hard Candy Blush Crush Baked Blush in Pen Up. This is more of a pinky champagne color and this will give you a really beautiful glow this will not be too intense so this would be a great product to take down the center of your face because it will give you a glow but it is not metallic so it won't be over the top but this is a really really great product i also recommend the baked bronzer in tiki which is a yellowy champagne so this baked blush and pinup is more pink and the baked bronzer and tiki is more of a champagne yellow tone that would be really beautiful i think these are really great products and definitely recommend them as a great drugstore highlighter also physicians formula is a great brand from the drugstore that has actually a ton of highlighters the ones that are probably most popular are their shimmer strips which are like five or six shades of colors and they all are beautiful shimmer and i believe they have five or six different shades of so there will be one for every skin tone and it is just a really really great um luminous highlighter physicians formula also has a custom color palette in warm nude and natural nude that is fairly new and I've heard great things about that as a really wonderful powder highlighter. Physicians Formula also has their powder palette pearls which come in four different shades a translucent pearl, beige pearl, light bronze and bronze so there will be again one for every skin tone i've heard great things about that the shade translucent pearl is not really translucent it's just light so that would be great for fair skin tones the next one i have to recommend would be the balm and i have the mary luminizer but they also have the cindy luminizer which is a pink undertone and the betty luminizer which is more of a bronzy gold i own the betty luminizer and it does not work on me but that would be amazing for deep skin tones i don't own the cindy which is the pink one that would be more natural on fair but it would be stunning on medium skin but the one i do have is the mary luminizer which is what i'm wearing today this is a beautiful champagne color and this is metallic all of the luminizers from the balm are very very metallic which I like because I'm very fair most highlighters don't show up on me which is why I really really love this one it shows up really really well it's really creamy and pigmented so I absolutely recommend the highlighters from the balm so Stila also sells an all-over shimmer duo in the shade kitten it has two shades in it one that's more of a pink tone and one that's more of a beigey bronze so that would be good for medium skin tones it would work on fair but it'd be very natural and it could work on tan, but I would say it might be too light for deep skins. So one of the brands that sells the most highlighters would be MAC. Um, they're mineralized skin finishes. They have a million limited edition shades, but they only have three in their permanent range, which really sucks. But the shade that is most talked about, this is Soft and Gentle. This is a champagne beige tone. This is very natural on me because I am so fair, but this would be amazing on medium and tan skin. They have a shade called Gold Deposit, which would be amazing on deep skin tones, but these are just really, really pigmented. This particular one does have a bit of glitter in it. So, um, it really it doesn't show up on your cheeks as much just the shimmer comes off on your cheeks but there is a good bit of glitter in the pan but mac comes out with a ton of limited edition mxf so i would definitely recommend you pay attention to limited edition collections and i have one that's limited edition and this is from their extra dimension skin finishes they've come out with these a couple different times the formula is a bit different and i have the shade superb which is more of like a rose gold kind of a color and this again is natural on me but would show up even better on a medium skin tone person the highlighter that shows up best on me is the balm mary luminizer because it is so light and so metallic so 
Um, if you are a fair skin person, I think this is going to be an amazing highlighter for you. And if you are medium skin, you are so lucky because basically all highlighters look amazing on you. But um, like I said, pay attention to the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Limited Edition Collections because they have some really great ones. And these are the only two that I own and they come out with a ton. Um, but honestly, I don't think you need a million highlighters in your collection. Uh, I think if you find one that you fall in love with, stick with it unless you see a color that really draws your eye. So Becca also sells Shimmering Skin Perfectors. She has liquid versions and pressed versions. The pressed versions are similar to the Balm Luminizers because they are really metallic and really intensely pigmented. And they are a little bit more expensive, but they have um, quite a few shades. And the last one I want to talk about is one of the most popular highlighters, which would be the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks. These are very expensive, and the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips are drugstore dupes for the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks. So each of the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks has five or six strips in there of a gradient of color, and they come in a really, really wide variety of shades, and I don't personally own one, but I've heard a lot of people really, really love those. So those are all of my recommendations for cream, liquid, and powder highlighters. If you have tried these or any other please let me know your favorites down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.